So guys, on this episode, we are talking about the new announcement of Link's Awakening for the Switch. It's a remake, we're excited. We're gonna be making two cocktails based off of that cause it's delicious. Mine's called the Shipwreck. And mine is going to be called the... <laughs> the Windfish. The Windfish! <laughs> mine is called the Shipwreck. And mine is gonna be called the Windfish. And we're gonna be talking about that and the trailer that teased a little bit right after this. Oh. oh, oh yeah, we got we got to do an episode. Oh, yeah. So just like in Link's Awakening, we're waking up to make you guys drinks. <laughs> okay, I guess that sounds kind of bad. Wake up and drink right away. That'd be really bad. So don't worry, we've already been awake, so it's all good. But guys, we're excited about the new trailer for Link's Awakening for the Switch. Uh, it originally came out on the Game Boy, and it was one of the first games that I actually ever played on my Game Boy. Oh, nice. I had uh, a game that came with my Game Boy called F1 Race, uh, and then I had Pokemon Red, and then I think I got that one. Nice. So I'm pretty sure it was like one of the first ones, because like Pokemon was awesome. Pokemon was awesome. So, uh, yeah, so there's a, there was a huge announcement on the Nintendo Direct not too long ago uh, that announced... Link's Awakening remastered for the Switch, out of nowhere, releasing this year in 2019, which is sometime crazy. in 2019. We don't know when, but sometime. But in 2019, that's the main thing. It's gonna be sometime this year. It's gonna be awesome. So, as mentioned before, uh, I'm making a drink called the Shipwreck, and I'm gonna be making a drink called Windfish. Ah, uh, the Windfish. The Windfish. The glorious Windfish. The beautiful Windfish. The beautiful Windfish. And your drink is going to be delicious. Gorgeous. So, so stoked for that. So let's find out who's making first, guys. We're going to do rock, paper, scissors. Okay. So one, two, three, go. Okay. One, one two, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Oh. Damn. Uh, <laughs> All right. So you're making first. All right. Shell, what are you making? So I am going to be making a drink called the Windfish. So first I'm going to rim my glass with some syrup. This happens to be agave syrup. We can use actually any kind of more? thicker syrup. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more there. Just a little bit. There we go. What I like to do is kind of like dip the edge into it and kind of... Yeah, get a nice rim going. Get a nice rim going. Beauty. And then go in with some Colored sugar. Multicolored sugar. What I did was I took um, pink, yellow, blue, and... That other color. No, it's literally just <laughs> pink, yellow, and blue. Just the three? I thought you did four. I, I did, but it was just literally a different tone Oh, you of did it. Yeah, okay, okay. It was gotcha. two tones of pink, so... Like, it's Looks pink, beautiful. pink. Yes, pink, pink. Especially on that glass, because it kind of like... Kind of like tapers in a little it bit. It actually looks really nice. Yeah, it's nice. So we're going to take that and actually add some, a tiny bit of mm. this shimmer powder. Shimmer. Edible. Ed edible shimmer, shimmer powder. <laughs> Do Make not sure it's just edible. <laughs> add glitter into your drink, please. Make sure this stuff is edible. I'm only going to add like that'll that probably, much. Yeah, that'll probably be perfect. Because it's like, potent. It is very potent. Bam. So after so that. that, we add in some ice and nice. So we're gonna go in with 1.5 ounces of this beautiful Soho light lychee. Lychee. Yeah. Lychee. Lychee. Le I call it lychee. Is it lychee or lychee? I'm pretty I don't sure know. it's lychee. I, I think it's lychee. <laughs> well, that's that's one... a nice, nice, generous one ounce. And then maybe like a not generous 0.5. <laughs> there you go. You go a generous ounce and a not generous 0.5. It equals out, right? <laughs> exactly. To 1.5 ounces of some Soho. And then you actually are going to go in with some mm. Dixon's. Oh, okay. Boop. Ooh, nice. you got it. So Dixon's Distilled Spirits Silver Creek Vodka. 1.5 ounces of that. Delicious. That's one. That's a little bit more, but that's all right. Uh, you are always so judgmental of my I'm, I'm not. I can make fun, but I'm I not know. judgmental. That's actually exactly one half there. So make fun of my pores that I don't pour into the glass. <laughs> that's what you get when you 
judge my poor. Good job, Shell. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> thank you, Tom. I'd like to thank the Academy for I would awards. like to thank the Academy. <laughs> and then, so, because the whale himself is, like, Linfish. very blue, well, he's technically a whale. Uh, yeah, he's a true. fish, His but name's... he looks like a whale. Yeah. So I wanted to make this drink primarily white-based, so we're yeah. going to just top that up with coconut water. And do you know what else this coconut water is going to do for you? It's going to hydrate you. It's going to hydrate you uh, better than water, I believe. Yeah, right? yeah, it does. Is that true? So I've, I've actually started drinking coconut water a lot more, so that's your drink right there. This right? is Isn't it beautiful? It's got the nice white base. It's got the color. Top. It'll beautiful. hydrate you. <laughs> it's gonna hydrate you, bish. Love it. Bam. Nice. Now, what are you making for us? I am making one called the shipwreck, and I'll explain why in a minute. So, first thing we're gonna do is, can you pass me the ice there, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. So we're gonna pop some ice in there. Boom. Ba Bam. Thank you. And then what we're gonna? Whoop. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in one ounce of blue curacao, because when Link, uh, in the opening scene, Link's on the water, very wavy. Some blue water. Some blue water, so we're gonna be putting some blue curacao in there, one ounce. So that'll be nice and delicious. <clears throat> then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put half an ounce, uh, half an ounce of peach schnapps. So we're gonna do that there. So half an You're ounce. You're so exact. Exactly half an ounce. Exactly half an ounce. That's right. And then once we're done that, we're going to do one and a half ounces of Dixon's Distilled Spirits Wicked Gin. Yes, 1.5. Mm. Make it two. Make it two. Uh, one and a half. Make it two. Make it two. Just make it two. Peer pressure. I'll make it 1.75. Okay. Compromise. Fine. Compromise, guys. So I've got 1.75 ounces of Dixon's Distilled Spirits Wicked Gin. Best gin out there, in my opinion, personally. Awesome with iced tea. Very, very. So you can kind of stir that up. Give a nice little stir. And then you're going to want to top it off with Cool Blue Gatorade, just right in here. Also going to be hydrating you. Get your electrolytes in. Actually, yeah, both of our drinks are so hydrating. What is up with that? But, well, we're trying to be healthy. 2019. No, I'm just trying to make mine delicious. Yep. Now, the opening scene, Link doesn't, Link's, Link's boat, or Link's raft, doesn't really do too well. So, it's more of a because boat of that, no, it, uh, it depends. It looks like a boat. I saw the trailer. Well, yeah, so have I. But anyways, so this dark gin is half an ounce. It represents Link's ship into the water. Burf. So it gives it kind of a nice, kind of top floaty of the rum there. Tossled up look. Tossled up look. And there you have it. This is my shipwreck. It's got a nice... Not, not quite a layer, but you can tell the difference on the top. So it's delicious. Yum. So this is mine. So, cheers, guys. Cheers, Shell. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. That's that's delicious. Holy crap. That's very crisp. Whew. Love it. My God. It's that gonna is be delicious. so good. Ooh, actually very fresh. Oh, they're both mm. so good. I don't have a favorite. They're both, like, they both, you can tell that they both kind of hydrate you. Yeah, or, like, exactly. Like, it doesn't have that, like, thick, heavy taste that but some cocktails do. But it has a do. weird thickness that's hydrating, you know? I wouldn't even say thickness. No, like, it's I mean, not. No, oh, it's not damn. a thickness. It's like, mm. It's delicious. It's a deliciousness. Absolutely. Oh, they're both so delicious. Mwah. Oh, if you want a hydrating cocktail, guys. These are the ones. So now that now got. Blah, 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 blah. So guys, now that we've made our drinks, let's talk about that trailer. Cause damn. That was amazing. Yeah, and unexpected too. Like like 
Nintendo did hint now. Nintendo did hint out that there was um, potentially a Zelda game that you may not have really been thinking about a whole lot. I know a lot of people thought it was going to be a Skyward Sword remake. Yeah. Uh, which I would have been totally down with. I actually really enjoyed Skyward Sword, even though it was super linear. Um, I actually still really enjoyed it. It was good. But what are what are your thoughts about the trailer? I man, it's, really thought that it was it, it was actually it's cool entertaining as somebody who's not really like a huge Legend of Zelda fan. Offended guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan. Like I'm not saying that I don't like it. I'm just like I'm not the biggest. Absolutely. But it was very actually exciting, and I really liked seeing something like an old game concept like come to life in a new kind of like reanimated re-rendered way yep. it's beautiful and i i would really love to see old games kind of like come alive with that kind of remake okay because yeah because it essentially um like it's actually kind of cool there's been a bunch of videos out that do like side by side comparisons and like so far from what we've seen, they're this one's almost, like almost identical it's which is actually awesome. almost screen by screen i've actually watched some like playthroughs and mm -hmm. stuff and it's actually looks pretty awesome down to the like in the starting area where you have like one little fox that's running around the fox <laughs> is running in the same area and you have the same white flowers and everything and it's just actually it brings you back yeah like, i know for me it's nostalgic well i know like for me when i'm gonna be like cause obviously i'm getting it so i know now i hope that they do a physical copy of this because if they don't do a physical copy because it's a remake i am going to be kind of mad because yeah so i'm hoping for that but i find like i actually am really uh, really really excited about it not because it's a, a newer legend of zelda game even though it's a remake um but from what i've seen from pokemon go and how they transferred like pokemon yellow into the like the like kind of 3d overhead style mm -hmm. They did such a damn good job on Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu yep. um, that I'm really excited for that. P.S. guys, if you want to see some awesome Let's Go Eevee shots that's layered, I will shoot a comment right up in there in that corner, so be sure to hit that. Um, that one was actually amazing. It was really good. So good. But this is about Legend of Zelda. Uh, yeah, there's actually a whole bunch of really, really cool things in there. And I know there's a lot of people that, the, one of the first things that they noticed, they were just like, why are there Goombas and Chain Chomps in there? But a lot of people don't realize that they were actually in the original game as well. Yep, they were. So. Like, it's, even in the original area when you first spawned, like when you go out of the original house, just to the left of it, there actually is just like a normal casual Chain Chomp. Yep. Chain Chomp. Chain Chomp. There you go. So, yeah, it's an end that can be tongue Tongue twister, right? Chain chomp. Chain chomp, chain there chomp, There is an chomp. actual chain chomp that so. just, he doesn't, like, actually damage you, and he's just there kind of, like, for aesthetic out. reasons. He's a pet. And he's there in the original, and he's there in the remake. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see if it is going to be, like, more of a frame-by-frame frame kind of thing. Um, very, very similar to what, uh, what Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu did. Because um, they were both based off of Pokemon... Or, yeah, they were both, both based off Yellow. of Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. Which was, an, was a Game Boy game. It was the first Pokemon game I ever played, so... So it's yeah. got, got a... It's you, got a close place in my heart. No doubt. Absolutely. So one thing that, um, that a lot of... Most people that have ever played a Legend of Zelda game... Um, know that almost every single, I'm pretty sure every single Zelda game, um, Link wakes up at the start. The start of the game basically is where you can play is Link waking up mm -hmm. every single game. So the fact that they, they kind of did a play on that, whereas Link's Awakening, it kind of works on a whole bunch of different levels because I don't want to spoil the game for people, even though by this point you absolutely should have played it. Well, I mean, like it's kind of, it, it's like a 80s. remake. It would be like, I don't want to spoil the plot like for you. Final Fantasy VII but plot. But Genie only gives Aladdin three wishes. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it for you, though. I don't yeah. want to spoil anything. No, fair enough. Like, fair come enough. on. Like, it's if it's already out, then there's no spoilers. It's, it, well, yeah. Like, it, now, if it's something that's new, like, brand new, I usually give people, like, a week to three weeks. I will give, depending yeah, I on will, where it I is. I was going to say, like, when um attack on titans came out and mm -hmm. i did a body paint of um any of the female titan, titan. Mm -hmm. it was like three weeks after the episode had aired and people were bitching at me for like spoilers saying any female titan i was just like 
She's like, well... If you were a real fan, you would have seen the episode right now, so don't bitch about me about spoilers, because guess what? Also, too, You're like... You're not a real fan. I mean, three weeks, like, that's plenty three of Three weeks. That's, is, if you that's were a real fan, you would have seen the episode in that amount of time. I would like, say, if, well, I would say, like, within the first week And if you didn't, you would care. Exactly. That's the thing, yeah. like... So. I'd say three weeks is... Definitely Three weeks is fine. But anyways, <laughs> enough about spoilers. So you actually, when we were doing a little bit of research, you actually came across a couple of really cool facts about uh, Link's Awakening. Actually, one of the really cool facts that it came, up, like, it was actually, I came about this fact and my boyfriend already knew this fact and he kind of was just like, do you know how this game came upon? And I was just like, no. And he kind of People just developed like, it? That's... that's and I, I kind of didn't think anything of it when he asked me that question. So I was like, no, I don't fucking know. And then so I kind of did my own research. And he was over there doing something on his computer when I figured out this. And I was like, oh, my God. Did you know that it was actually made by Nintendo developers after hours? And he gave me the smirk was like, told you so. That's the thing I wanted you to find out. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. So it was really cute that he already knew that. And so, yeah, that's the Nintendo developers actually made this game after hours. They just kind of on their own time, yeah. Yeah, they didn't really yep. intend on it being a game. They were just kind of just like, yo, let's make this. Fucking... Let's play around with it, yeah. Yeah, let's just diddle around and see what's going on. Turned out to be an amazing game. Love the well, story. Yeah, it actually turned out to be one of the top 40 games of all time. Mm -hmm. So I think it did pretty good. Absolutely. It's a great <laughs> game. You guys might be wondering where we are. We're not in our normal studio. Actually, we're actually yeah. hanging out at Shell's house. This is my so, house. Bonus. It's my place. <laughs> This is my lighting. This is my place. This we don't is... have as much the backgrounds. Like... I was going to say, this is my bedroom. That's your, that's this is door. where I sleep. This is my Minecraft light. Grab the torch. There you go. Oh, your bottom broke off. He did, but we, it still, still lights works. up. Still works. It still, it's this still isn't works. a Minecraft episode. God, though. we'll do a Minecraft episode in the future. We will, because Minecraft's awesome. But as far as... Uh, Legend of Zelda goes, um, shoot a comment down below and let me know what your favorite Legend of Zelda game is. Uh, because I want to know. I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan if you guys have seen any episode whatsoever. Why don't we bring out the sword? Yeah, go get it. I can get chat it. with you guys. So, yeah, shoot a comment down below and let me know what your favorite Legend of Zelda game is. And, and why, if you can. Uh, personally, my favorite is Twilight Princess. I love it because of the storyline. It is a little linear and different things like that, but I don't I don't actually mind that when it comes to Legend of Zelda games. As I, I go for more or less the story. Nice. Um, I go for, this is uh, Wind Waker Link, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I was going to say his shield will give you a good indication. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's one from Wind Waker. Um, his sword? What's his sword? Oh my god, his sword's like mangled. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so yeah, so my personal favorite is Twilight Princess. Do you have a favorite Legend of Zelda game? Um, <laughs> don't stab your eyes out. That's don't the stab your eyes out. That's my favorite. So no, I don't actually have a favorite. That's my boyfriend's no. forte. I'm not a big Legend. What's of Zelda. Uh, what's Jamie's favorite game uh, for Legend of Zelda? Oh god, do you know the original one? For the original like, NES one. The Nintendo classic. I know a lot of people's favorite no, the games. The Nintendo one, like the original Nintendo. Yeah, that's the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, not NES. NES is the original Nintendo. Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Smooth it. It's okay. It's Jesus okay. Christ. Here, hold Link. I'm there sorry, Link. I'm sorry I betrayed you. <laughs> I'm just curious to see when it comes out. I'm really excited. Do you guys have any predictions on when it's coming out? If you do, definitely shoot a comment down below. And while you are there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification because we make two geek-themed cocktails like these every single week. We also make... Generally a new shot every week as well based off of video games movies cosplay and a treasure chest full of geekery So if any of that interests you definitely stick around and uh, we're happy to have you so thanks for watching guys That's really all I have. Do you have anything else? Nope. All right. Well guys, we will see you in the next one Peace out